Daily Message, May 23rd, 2023. Heaven or Hell, A Matter of One's Choices, Part 2. In Part 1, based on the written Word of God, it was concluded that there is life after physical death, that there are two options where one can spend that life, that is, either in heaven or in hell. Today we will take a look at option number one, heaven. That is, how does the Bible describe heaven? For if one has two choices, one should know something about each choice to make an informed decision. In Deuteronomy 26, verse 15, Moses describes heaven as God's holy habitation. In Psalm 11, verse 4, David wrote, The Lord's throne is in heaven. In Matthew 5, verse 12, Jesus said, Rejoice and be glad, for your reward in heaven is great. In Matthew 6, verse 20, Jesus said, But store up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust destroys, and where thieves do not break in. In Matthew 22, verse 30, Jesus said, For in the resurrection they neither marry nor are given in marriage, but are like angels in heaven. In Revelation 7, verses 16 through 17, heaven is described as a place where those who reside there will hunger no longer, nor thirst any more, nor will the sun beat down on them, nor any heat. For the Lamb in the center of the throne will be their shepherd and will guide them to springs of the water of life, and God will wipe every tear from their eyes. In Revelation 21, verses 3 through 4 and 27, the new heaven and earth are described as a place where God will dwell among men, where he will wipe away every tear, where there will no longer be any death, mourning, crying, or pain, and where no one who practices abomination and lying shall dwell. Lastly, Revelation 22, verse 5, describes the new heaven and earth as a place where there will no longer be any night, and they will not have need of the light of a lamp, nor the light of the sun, because the Lord God will illumine them, and they will reign forever and ever. Heaven most certainly sounds like a desirable place in which to dwell, but then I long to dwell in the presence of God. With love to all, Pastor Cheryl.